Talk. Hello, Let's Talk. Welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Live. Live. Yes, this is our first live episode of Let's Talk Tech. So we are asking you to call us on the phone. Number will be on the screen somewhat momentarily. Anytime, call us, give us a ring up. We'll answer and we'll ask any, even computer questions or questions about what we're talking about right now. You can jump in, comment. Okay, well you may be wondering why we have changed our background. We're changing our background for the next two episodes for the reason that we are doing Green Week. Green. For the next two weeks, we are doing Green Week. We're talking about green technology, cars, solar panels, water. And uh, how you can go green. And how you can go green. So we're just talking about green technology for today. Um, you want to introduce? Okay, our first segment is going to be solar energy. If you don't know what that is, it's very, very common, and you're probably living under a rock. Uh, it's so common that a lot well, of... Well, I wouldn't say living under a rock for a lot of half of living under a rock. A lot of America is living under a rock. Not really. But if you don't know what that is, then yeah, it's pretty bad. But solar energy is basically, you have a solar panel, and uh, psh, Well, it, should we show them the clip? Yes. Let's show them the clip. Eric, roll the clip, please. Solar panels. <laughs> you got that. Sunlight is made sure. up of tiny packets of energy called photons. Every minute, enough of this energy reaches the Earth to meet the world's energy demand for a whole year. Photovoltaic panels consist of many solar cells. These are made of materials like silicon, one of the most common elements on Earth. The individual cell is designed with a positive and a negative layer to create an electric field, just like in a battery. As photons are absorbed in the cell, their energy causes electrons to become free. The electrons move toward the bottom of the cell and exit through the connecting wire. This flow of electrons is what we call electricity. By combining solar cells and photovoltaic panels, we can produce just the right amount of electricity to perform a specific job, no matter how large or small. So we need to tell them. Okay. Yes. Well, back. welcome back. Um, yeah, that was our that was our solar panel video. Basically, that was the technical technical version. Um, tells you exactly what happens, yeah. how it gets stored. How, we're not going that far into it. We're really just debating on whether the solar panels are really... W As do useful. You would Wouldn't you really rather use the solar panel? I would. I would like to. Solar energy is definitely much cleaner, more efficient than, say, gas-powered or... Um, ethanol. Ethan oh, well, no. well, ethanol is gas, but it's much power. Yeah, but even it. ethanol, it still pollutes. Um, yeah. Definitely, it's much more efficient than most other ones because it comes from sun which uh, now is going to be beamed down anyway. Now I, think, now I think the person who created this was a complete genius in the way that um, how I, I really want to know who I didn't look up who invented it but I would really like to know because that was a genius idea because sun well, he probably, created the energy. He probably figured that he saw that electrons were and protons mm -hmm. were being transferred through sun's energy mm -hmm. and Find a way to collect it. Um, but yeah, this is pretty awesome technology. Uh, people put them on roofs. Um, they put them I've, everywhere. Yeah, people Except put them everywhere. People put them in their house. yard. People put them in their own yard, and then they just um, you, they have lights in them. Remember those lights? Mm -hmm. um, uh, they have lights that you could buy off you know TV and stuff like that, where they charge the lights. Uh, there's a small battery in the lights, and they charge the battery, so the lights will go on at nighttime when there's no more sun. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Um, they have solar chargers out. Um, a charger, so uh, you could charge up the battery that's in the charger. Or even like a cell phone or something. Yeah. No, no, no. That's what I'm you saying. You charge up the ch charger, which charges up the cell yeah, phone. Sunlight a, uh, is made up of tiny packets uh, of energy. You charge up the battery called in called the solar panel, and when you get to the solar panel, it will, um, when you charge up the battery, it, you could plug it into any device, like an outlet. It's like an outlet. You plug it right into the device, and it'll charge right off that battery that's been charged by the sun. Which is great if you're like in the middle of nowhere, you're lost, or yeah, it's very good for hunters. Yeah. Yeah, or say you're out in the middle of nowhere, you're lost, you have a dead battery on your cell phone, you need to call to get help because you're injured or Especially something. Especially if you want to call Ghostbusters, don't you hate that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So that it's very useful for um, even that. And what ends up happening is it generates. Even when you don't have to save the energy, what happens is it collects it and then saves it mm -hmm. into like a storage unit, which can be used around your house. And even now, they have fields of sor uh, solar panels where we'll have like a hundred solar panels lined up in a row, and it'll turn with the sun. Yes. 
and that yeah. makes it so much more efficient. Um, it I was, so I've, much I've read, I saw this video, um, I don't know where I saw it, YouTube, something like that. Um, I saw this video, and it has that, uh, who's that company? Not, not, anyway, one of the companies of FedEx, that's what it was, has an entire, their main place has an entire, is built, like the entire roof is all solar panels. They have an entire solar, they have an entire energy f plant down in their basement just so they can, just so they run their own energy. It's pretty amazing. Costs a pretty <coughs> penny, but if you have the money to do it, it saves you money in the long run because yes. you don't have to buy the power to do it. Yeah. You set it up on your roof, yeah. the um, sun's free. Once again, uh, call us in. The number on it will be on the screen. Um, just make sure you uh, call us in if you have a computer question about something else or something that we're talking about, want to comment on or it. Or even jump in and Or talk. completely disagree with us, call us. Um, yeah, so um, the cost-wise, like Thomas was talking about, the cost-wise, I think, definitely has an impact on people. People say, oh, okay, I want to get solar panel. I want to go green. Once they figure out how much it will cost them to actually get solar panels, they, just, they, they say no. It will save them a ton. It will save you a ton. Well, yes, solar panels in general is a lot of money because the technology needed to make them. But once, once you have them, once, you've, once you buy it, you put it on your roof, and after an extensive long time, it will actually save the money that you've uh, spent on it and more. Yeah. And on top of that, it's also good for the environment, which is a huge yeah. thing now. Going huge green, thing. how you can go green, this is a huge thing. It doesn't cost all that much. It's not throwing your life savings away, but it's a way to go green, yeah. save some energy. Um, but yeah, um, other, another thing that kind of throws people off is um, the fact that they have people installed. That's, another, that's why the cost is so much, another reason. Um, if you do it yourself, you do save yourself a lot of money, but a lot of people don't know how to do that. Um, the way, like they said, a solar panel works, it, um, it brings the sun, and uh, the rays of the sun, and the um, neutrons, protons, or whatever, the sun goes into the solar panel. Um, the, uh, in the solar panel, what, what happens is that the uh, sun creates something called AC current. And we, and the electricity we use is a DC current. Our, anything we run, these cameras are running DC current. So, um, so you convert it. Yeah, so you, you have to get it converted. converted. So you have to get a converter and everything for it. So it's pretty, it gets kind of pricey in the end. Anything yeah. you want to add in? It definitely gets more pricey once you have the converter. And once you have the solar panel, it costs a good grand plus. So, but once you buy everything, once you have everything all set up in your house, you can run televisions, you can run Yeah, you can everything. run anything off the solar panel. And um, even, even if the electricity goes down, seeing as a thunderstorm or something, you can still well, get electricity. That's another thing, is a lot of people use solar energy just for backups. So let's say the power does go out. Um, let's say you're hooked up to the public power plant um, and your electricity happens to go out. You're, uh, you can get it so it will automatically, within a split second, uh, the pa it realizes the power went out and have it switch over the solar panel, solar power battery immediately. So this way it says, oh, okay, we're going to switch over the battery now. The battery will last maybe two hours, maybe four hours, depending on how big the battery is. And it'll say, okay, well, we'll, tr we'll run all your appliances in your house. It also depends on how much you're running. That, that will definitely help you. I mean, say you're, it, it's lightning, the power goes out for some other reason, they have an electronical problem. You can still run all your basic necessities, uh, your fans, if it's hot, your AC, your mm -hmm. um, computers, anything. Yeah. Um, it, it, solar panels are definitely very useful because they create energy, and they create energy that doesn't cost money. So it's basically free energy. And Once you buy yeah. the solar panels. Uh, the solar panels basically pay for themselves after like, I think they say five, 10 years. Um, after a five, 10 year period, solar panels basically pay off for themselves. So they don't, um, so they cost you all this money, but they'll pay off in saving you money f on your energy bill in the future. And another huge misconception is um, when it's cloudy out or it's uh, snowing out or something, you don't, get, you don't get the solar power, which is not true. Solar energy is still transmitted even when it's cloudy. It's just not as much. Okay. You want to? We're we'll go to, go, to, go to a commercial. Remember, uh, when we come back, um, you make sure you give us a call yes. alive, okay? And we'll go to commercial. We'll Celebrate Wallingford's just around the corner, and there'll be plenty to see and do. 
Don't forget, just up the street, WPA Cable 18 Studio will be offering everyone a chance to come on in and make their very own video holiday greeting. And it's free. Choose from a variety of holidays and backgrounds. See your greeting aired here on WPAA Channel 18. So stop on by our studio at 128 Center Street, conveniently located near the town green. On Saturday, October 3rd, noon to 4 p.m. and Sunday, October 4th, noon to 4 p.m. See you there! The following is a public service announcement. Hi, I'm John Michael, host of Creation. Today I'd like to talk about recycling. Can we really make a difference? Each year, I use approximately 480 plastic bags from the grocery store. In the past, I've just thrown them out. Since starting my show Creation, however, I've come to realize that my habits are harming Mother Earth. So this year, I took an oath to go green in every possible way and to help promote a better understanding of what recycling really is. Why? Because I can make a difference. Now each time I go to the grocery store, I bring back my used plastic bags, a free service the stores provide us to help save creation by recycling our used plastic bags to make new ones. Did you know that over 380 billion plastic bags are thrown in the trash each year, ending up in our landfills? And cities spend up to 17 cents per bag in disposal costs, thereby wasting millions of tax dollars. What are you doing to save creation? Help reduce waste. Please recycle your plastic bags. On behalf of creation, thank you. And welcome back. Welcome back to Let's I'm Talk Alan. Tech. I'm Alan. Thomas. Yeah. And again, this is Let's Talk Tech. This is our green episode. and Our live green our episode. Our live green episode. So please give us a call, 203-265-6310. Uh, um, and we'll answer your question. It could Comments, be a even, computer question. Even computer questions question. about other things uh, not on topic, we'll answer them and discuss yeah. them. Um, we could discuss your yeah, other computer problems you're having, anything like that, just, make, just call us live. Okay, this segment is going to be on wind power. Wind power, okay. Um, basically, the wind power is actually called a wind turbine. So you use the wind turbine. Uh, we also have a video for that too, so if you roll that video again, please, Eric. The following technical animation will explain how wind turbines work. The tail fin points the propeller into the wind, causing it to spin. The propeller rotates the shaft, and the shaft turns the generator. This generates electricity. The converter makes the AC into DC power, and the battery stores the power for a stable output. And that is how wind turbines work. Um, as we were in our uh, video, we had a caller. Hello, um, caller. Hello, caller. What's your name? Uh, 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 Edward from uh, Ridgeland. Uh, oh, okay. First hello. time caller to uh, to Let's Talk Tech. Hi. And uh, and I just wanted to say uh, you lads are doing a fine job. It's always it's always good to see uh, new local programming, and and you guys are doing a are doing a fine job. And congratulations on going live and taking calls. Uh, my question is, and I'll, and I'll just hang up and listen to your answer, as uh, someone who's uh, 
rather up in years. I, I don't know anything about computers. I I enjoy listening to your program, but a lot of it is like a foreign language to me, but that's just because of my own ignorance on the subject. Where would you recommend that someone uh, my age, uh, a senior citizen, go to get information on how to run a computer? Um, and, I'll, and I'll hang up and answer it. Oh, okay. Right. And thank you, gentlemen. Okay, thank you. Thank you for calling. Um, as his question was, um, the answer would be, uh, Walling for Public Library has um, has classes for computers, and if you uh, you can go online and look at when the classes are, look at their calendar, and they will give you uh, free classes uh, at the Walling for Public Library about computers, and there will be a computer person such as us, or well we don't do it, but someone that knows us like us, um, and probably can answer your question will walk you through everything Microsoft Office and stuff like that if not there's other um, there's other courses you can even, take other places even in Google you can just search computer help oh computer yeah questions. Uh, YouTube's also very helpful or any other place yeah like uh, Google, YouTube's also www.google.com and yeah. you can pretty much search anything. anything yeah about a computer question uh, how to, best antivirus yeah um, we even talk about some of this stuff yeah, like that here yeah like best antivirus and best um, yeah, uh, operating so, systems, the so stuff yeah, that runs um, your computer. Yeah, YouTube, like I said, YouTube's good. Go online, uh, if you have a prom, search what your prom is, and there's probably a YouTube video for it, and someone's going to show you how to do it. So that would be your answer to your question. Um, back Thank to... Thanks for calling. Yeah, thanks for calling. Uh, if you want to call, the number will it'll be on the screen, 203-265-6310. Yeah, and you can call us any time and ask a, a question. Um, back to the green, the uh, wind turbines. Wind turbines. Um, they're, they basically, they have the same general concept of um, the uh, solar panels, except you not every household uses them. It's only for places which has a lot of wind um, up on yeah, steep um, uh, hills. Yeah, very, you have to have a lot of wind to do it. Big farmlands, and not only that, but they're huge. They're yeah, they are huge. They are giant. like maybe 100, maybe 100 feet up. 200, 100 feet 100, 200 feet up, and then they have this huge propeller. If you go, space. like, if you go on Google search images and just see how big they actually are, um, they're humongous. Um, yeah, they can give you dimensions. Yeah, they, they, they they're, <laughs> dimension. we, we, we have been, we've seen one of them not made, and we can fit in one of them. Yeah, we could fit in one of them with no problem. Just we have, the end of it. We don't have a picture here, but we've, yeah, we've been inside, like, one of the wings. Yes. Um, you know, it, no, they're, they're amazing. Um, and how they work, which we had the video explaining how it did work, um, it turns. As the solar, uh, not solar, my bad. As the, as wind, the wind turbine, turbine as the turbines move, as they move around and around. It collects it, in the generator, it, uh, in, in the back. the generator inside the thing, it moves the gear, which moves another gear, which creates the energy. Um, so it's pretty amazing technology on how, how it works because it just moves gears. That's all it does, and it creates energy and just, just by doing it. it's powered by wind. Which yeah, is it's powered by wind, which, which is another is, free. Again, yeah. renewable resource. Which renewable is resource, free, free um, and where can you go wrong? Uh, what a lot of farmlands do is they take the energy that they make, use it for their farm, and what they have la extra left over, they do this for solar panels too, uh, solar energy too, is they'll sell it back to the energy company. You can do that, which I, you know, I was amazed too when, you, when I found that out. You could sell your energy that you don't use back to the uh, energy company, but you have to have extra energy. You can't just be like, oh, well, uh, I have <laughs> this extra energy that I'm not using. You have to be having wind turbines or solar panels and have the extra energy, and you could sell it back to them. It's pretty amazing technology. A big con about this is... Definitely a big, very bad con is that they're so bulky, they're so big that only huge farmlands can use them. Big, big, yeah, big, open big farms. places. Another con is the and wind. Yeah. No, another wind. problem is a lot of wind. You need a lot of wind just to power these things. I yeah. mean, they're giant. You need yeah. a ton of wind, 24/7, preferably. Yeah. Um, and yeah, most likely. People don't like them because in the huge fields and everything, you look out, you don't want to see. Yeah, big, I don't. Huge wind I don't turbines. understand that. People say so that they don't like them ugly. because that's, that's what, what they, they look say. like. So they yeah. don't like it that it's not. In, the, in nature, yeah. so it shouldn't be there. And yes, I agree with them that it doesn't look all that good, but it's for energy purposes and it helps us a ton. Yeah, it helps us with, out a ton. Without it's, wind energy, we would lose a ton yeah. of our renewable resource energy it, used. 
I don't know. What I, I have to say that what I, uh, people uh, complain about the most about wind turbines is the noise, is that they make all this noise. And it's like, well, you know something? If this is energy, if this is free energy, and this is in somebody else's yard, Okay, you're gonna hear the you're gonna hear all this wind, but this wind turbine is saving so many trees, so much oil, so much like it's saving our ozone, and they're complaining about the noise. I I really don't like that. Um, me personally, I I'm you know I really don't care if it if, means that there's if we could be a little fit bit one, noise, if we yeah. could afford one, fit one in our backyard, and we had enough wind in Connecticut to do this, we would probably get one, but we can't. Yeah, so. well, yeah, there's not enough wind in Connecticut. Um, when we do cars, I'll actually probably show a representation of what I want to do uh, with uh, an electric car that I want to do. Yeah. So with. this one is a less available to the average person than a solar solar panels. Everybody can get, anybody could buy, anybody can use solar wind turbines. But anyone wind, can get wind, them, but you have to have the place to put them. Wind turbines are a little less accessible to people, a little less um, used. Actually, they're very costly in, as well in Connecticut, and very costly more yeah. more so than the solar panels. solar panel yeah. because they're so. Big. Yeah, they're so big. Also, there's constant maintenance that needs to be done with the wind turbines. Um, in order to fix a wind turbine, you actually there's um, the bottom of the wind turbine. It's uh, you have to there's almost like a little door. A lot of them have doors, and you can climb up inside the wind turbine and fix it mechanically. Um, but as for the solar panels, they don't need that much uh, uh, maintenance as much as the wind turbines do. Wind turbines need constant maintenance all the time oiling the machine, this and that. They, they require a lot of work. Um, um, we're yeah. going gonna to go to a com another commercial, and we'll be back in a sec with water energy. Standing here, you can actually feel the power of the water. Harnessing that power is what hydroelectric stations have been designed to do for over 100 years in Ontario. In essence, they are factories that convert the energy of falling water into the flow of electrons, or what is commonly called electricity the electricity that powers the province. Most hydroelectric stations use either water diverted around the natural drop of a river, such as a waterfall or rapids, or a dam is built across a river to raise the water level and provide the drop needed to create a driving force. Water at the higher level is collected in the forebay. It flows through the plant intake into a pipe called a penstock which carries it down to a turbine water wheel at the lower water level. The water pressure increases as it flows down the penstock. It is this pressure and flow that drives the turbine that is connected to the generator. Inside the generator is the rotor that is spun by the turbine. Large electromagnets are attached to the rotor located within coils of copper wire called a stator. As the generator rotor spins the magnets, a flow of electrons is created in the coils of the stator. This produces electricity that can be stepped up in voltage through the station transformers and sent across transmission lines. The falling water, having served its purpose, exits the generating station to the tail race, where it rejoins the main stream of the river to continue the cycle of creating clean, renewable energy. So let's talk tech. I'm Alan. I'm Thomas. And once again, we are accepting phone calls. We don't have that much time left, but uh, we are accepting the phone calls. We have about six minutes left. Yeah. So, yeah, so if you want to call us, call in, hurry call up. In. <laughs> um, okay. So basically, we're going to be talking about the water, water technology, water power, and how it flows through. How it goes. You have to have a stream or a dam in order to. Uh, uh, or a fall. Oh, or a, a waterfall. Yeah, or a dam in order to do this. So it's not going to be incredibly easy to and of course nobody nobody in Connecticut or very little people will yeah. be able to use this water yeah. energy for their advantage it's it's mostly we're just telling you about this because to let you know that it's a renewable yeah. resource that's out there yeah you cannot use it yourself it's more <laughs> the government that's going to be putting it in unless you can afford a dam with <laughs> and afford to build one and the um, location in yeah it's more for just the energy places not for home use um, but yeah, it's very it's very awesome because again, it just turns gears, and it's which a renewable creates resource, the, yeah, another new renewable resource. Completely free to you. How a lot of people complain about this um, is that the they're worried about fish getting clogged in the motor and actually getting chewed up in the motor, which it does sound kind of disgusting. But there are precautions to take so fish don't 
get put through the uh, engine or anything like that. There's ways so n none of that happens. The fish are completely avoided and just water goes through it. They get filtered out and as you saw in the video, what ends up happening is water comes, it goes down and there's two little propellers and it's the water flows down and pushes the propellers on a generator that converts it to energy. Yeah, it's pretty um, amazing. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, like I said, you need a, a, a some sort of a fall or a dam because otherwise the water is not going to be powerful enough to go through and create that energy. You need some, a fast moving current in order to do it and a current that's moving in one direction probably. Um, yeah, a yeah, but moving it's, in two directions. Yeah, just it's it's pretty cool technology, but you can't use it for the home. So that's the downside. It's more definitely like I said, not for home. Yeah, it's use. more it's more government technology. Although I'm sure there is some kind of affordable one where you can put it in a little stream or something. And I'm, well, I've you heard need of, a fast no, you I've, need a fast I've, current though. I have heard of people using water as energy, having it sucked in through oh, some kind of thing. Yeah, um, um, they have those. the water. They have water cars out. Um, water cars. Um, they run. They can, I think they, they're working on them. They run on water, but it's hard to do. We have a caller. Yeah. Hello, caller. Hi. Caller. Eric, do we have a caller? Uh, yes, this question oh. is for Alan. Oh, okay. Are you seeing anybody? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> That was Tyler from our own WPAA Let's Talk Tech studio. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> anything can happen on live. Yeah, time. anything can happen on the live. Yep. <laughs> okay, so basically next week we're going with Green Week. Um, again, uh, <laughs> no shocker there. Nope. And um, uh, we're going to be talking more and expand on what we're, we're talking gonna about. We're going to expand on what we're talking about. And the we're going to show you new yeah. stuff like cars and how they've been propelled now. Yeah. And obviously the next segment on our second show is going to be Green Week because it's going to take up the Yeah, whole so show. it's going to take up the whole show. Uh, we're going to go back to our new segment next show. So we're going to have a green news segment on uh, next show, and, uh, uh, last next, segment. Next so. week we'll still be live, so if you want to call in. Yeah, call in next next show and you can always visit us at let's talk tech .co .co .cc. .cc. we'll have all the links all our current things to what we're going to be doing everything like that um our location and everything like that uh thanks for watching and join us next week See and next the next week. green week goodbye